Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss School. Welcome to Monk Monday, number 134. Thank you so much, everybody, who watches these. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go through your cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns. I do twos, threes, RBGs, solo shuffle, mythic plus rating, Windwalker, Miss Weaver, any MMR, 1400, 2800, 2K. It doesn't matter. Send your gameplay in. It is really, really helpful for learning when you have another set of eyes on your gameplay. If you're too shy or you don't want to, that's fine too. Record your gameplay, use OBS or something, shadow play, and watch your gameplay back. You're going to see any mistakes that you make. I promise. I still find mistakes to this day. Today, we have Zokai from Twitch chat. Welcome. I appreciate you some of your games. And here are some games. Uh, this is uh, my first season as Misfit. I haven't played since Mop. Almost at Elite in Season 2. Confident I can get it this season. I'm sure you can. Uh, this is my second monk round 2k MR. My main is 2.1 CR. Don't judge me for using Gladiator Losa. I wouldn't judge you for using Gladiator Losa. Honestly, if I was learning the game today, or like if I was playing the game or got used to it, I would probably play it or use it because my hearing is much better than my vision. So I don't mind Gladiator Losa at all. I don't use it, but it's pretty pretty handy. Uh, it looks like we're playing with uh, Hunter Rogue versus Disc Priest on Holy Hero Red Pilot. This is going to be a rough round. Um, the biggest thing I would say for this round is to make sure that you don't in-cap the healer is like the biggest thing. Actually, this round, don't don't even try to CC the healer like, <laughs> like at all. You're playing with a hunter that has scatter trap. You're playing with a rogue that has gouge and kitty shot and cheap shots. So this this round, just 40 yards out. Don't try to do. Don't try to make plays. It sucks, but that's just, it's just one of these rounds. Hunters and rogues are really hard to heal from misweavers as well. We have no damage reductions, so I just it sucks. It sucks. Um, Hunter didn't get the memo that the round started. There he is. Good. Rogues already. <laughs> Rogue is already behind the enemy team when the hunter comes out of the starting room. So fantastic. Try to get a port down. Uh, really good there. And yeah, that's camo. Rogue, uh, Demon Hunters, or Demon Hunter, Death Knight's pushing in. We get cheap shots on him. I actually think it could be a Death Knight, but I think there's so many ways to get a stun. You might just want to go Rep Alley. That's IBF and Paint Sub, actually. So DK is probably a good, really good to kill target. We do get gripped. We try to port out. Um, we do get Dome there because it's Shadow Duel from the Rogue uh, and Rapture. We try to, we ink up the Priest there. Be careful because we just reset the DR on that. And it was like, what? Is this 14 or 4? I I didn't I didn't really see that. No, it's six. It's it's four seconds from being off DR, and now we just reset that in cap DR. So that is not ideal. So keep that in mind. Again, you're playing with a rogue and hunter that have a lot of in cap DRs and stun DRs. We don't really have to do much. Oh, I do hate that the faint that there's really really annoying. I hate that interaction with Soothing Mist. Hodge on you is okay because they don't really have a whole lot of CC. They just have a whole lot of damage. Sweep here is actually pretty good that sweep is really good helping your hunter because your hunter just used masters call to freedom away uh, and that's trinket on the blind there from or the trap there from the priest it was on blind or trap i don't know which one uh incap here is dr uh yeah i would say hold off on the incaps on the healer with uh with all the incap drs uh that that your team has and i would say just focus on healing yeah it, it's one of those rounds where you just you just got to focus on healing and you don't really have to do much besides that uh big healing here good 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 yeah i they they definitely want your hunter too so just keep that's bop on the rep alley too wreck could be a wreck could be a really good kill target as well so you know uh, no ibf from the dk no bop from the pally uh cheap shots coming out on the on the death knight right now hunter keeps cutting towards you and it's really bothering me and it's probably bothering you too i wish that this hunter uh trinket cocoon there uh is fair because the teammate was hella low but I hate that the hunter keeps trying to kite towards you. Like, I wish the hunter was kiting like towards this pillar or, or something like that. Maybe it's a pillar we're on. I don't know, but it's getting it's just kind of weird. Um, are we, are we are playing, we are playing disarm, right? Yeah. <sighs> um, you definitely want to disarm the rep pally on the inquisitors, and then yeah, good disarm here. It's fine. Precog on you is really good. Just yeah, just spam heal here. Yeah, we don't need to do any fake casting. It's like the best four seconds of arena, honestly. Um. Yeah, we're doing a good in cap there on the DK. Good get let oh make sure make sure, you have two charges of renewing mission right now. So just always make sure you get your two set out. Always, always, always. Um whenever before you start healing, always, always get that renewing messed out. Get that chi harmony from the two set. That way you get the 50% healing bonus. 
Um, it's really, really helpful. So just, it's my, it's the first burn up. Yeah, perfect. Like exactly like that. Whenever you just start healing, just get in the habit. I mean, you should already be doing that before with renewing this, but just make sure you're doing it even more so now. Grip on you. Uh, we look like we're, we're in a decent spot. Uh, Thunder Focus T. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I, wow. I cannot believe we just died there. I mean, I guess it's Inquisitors from the Rep Alley. Maybe we don't have Disarm for it. Um, but yeah, we have Thunder Focus T right here, right? Huh. I I actually am surprised that your death that your hunter died there. Huh. Yeah, that's just unfortunate, really, because it seemed that we had got the disarm. Disarm was a little late on the red. Yeah, disarm was a little late from the rogue on the red. I I can't believe that we took advantage of everything that we had. I I think that was a good round from you, honestly. Hunters and rogues are really hard to to heal. Just make sure you don't incap the healer uh, as much. This rogue's about to tell you not to incap the healer. Yeah, here we go. Just let let us have it. Yep, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I mean, is he gonna say anymore? waiting let me control the arena okay yeah i would i i mentioned at the start again i know it's it's it is habit and trust me i am not perfect either i in cap when i'm playing with a hunter as well and then they always message me not to in cap because they have trap it's just habit um but yeah just understand that soul shuffle it, it's fun because you play with classes and specs and stuff like that you don't normally play with so you were playing with the Hunter and Rogue last round. They have a lot of NDRs. You, you basically just have to heal, but it's really hard to heal Hunters. I really, Hunters are not enjoyable to heal. Kill target here is probably going to be Hunter, but I feel like you can kill the Rat. I feel like you want to kill the Hunter and cleave the Rat. Um, probably and grip in the... It'd be nice if you grip in the disc and win them too, just to get some extra damage going out. Um, but yeah, that's the Hunters. Comes out of stealth. Nice kidney shot on the Hunter. Hodge on your DK. Good dispel there. Um, big healing here. If they get in line, if a rogue wants healing, you can always come in line of side of you. You know, good job putting port here. Good disarm as well on the rep alley. Fantastic start. Always make sure you get that two set going always because you're missing out on literally 15% healing. Uh, stun on you. Nice port on that trap there. Don't go back to your port though. Careful. The trap is still there. Be careful. Um, kick on you is fine, I think. Uh, you're going to get silenced as well. Uh, which I think is okay right now because we're taking some damage, not a whole lot. DK runs into the old trap, which is great. Careful, we're getting a Hodge feared here. Uh, we trinket the fear. This is because we're kind of playing very close. Like, uh, really, really close to this team. Like, the, the Rep Alley barely doesn't even have to, like, horse or anything to get to you. I would say play on this pillar. What you want to do position-wise is get off their pillar. Because the priest can get free CC on you. The red can easily see, uh, hodge you. Makes the hunter easier to trap you. And play on this pillar right here. And then play like kind of where your statue is right now. That way, if they do need to CC or they do want to CC you, they need to use the robot to get to you. And then this, there's no way this priest should ever get to you in a million years if you're playing that far away. Because you could always port as like a last ditch effort while you're stunned. Um... That's what I would do at least. Get your renewing mist out. Good. Fantastic. Um, I think we just... That's what... Bop on the... That's Bop and Turtle, right? From from Rhett and Hunter. So that's a really big overlap. Uh, that was a precog. Ultimate Penance coming in hot right now. Uh, the Rogue gave the Priest precog. So he was able to get that off. And we're just doing a big damage here. Maybe taunt a pet here. Oh, okay. Yulon decides to eat the trap. We're not mad about that. We are not mad about that at all. Good. Fear. Good. Nice, good. Okay, yeah. No, this is this is fine. I think we're doing a good job here. Um, but the, the reason why the priest, you see how the priest is just able to just like CC you almost for free. We could also we could also port here too. Um, the but we, we you never want to make it easier for priests to CC you. I think fears are really really good CC, and it's able to consistently get it. It's it's kind of rough. So just keep that in mind. It try to just position further away. Nice thing cap on the right here. Really good in cap on the red here. Sweep off maybe or anything. Dispel on that. Good. Yeah, no, good. Rob here to keep him away from you. Fantastic. Maybe a little Todd. All right, void shift is fine too. All right. Yeah, we're getting cooldowns here. We're getting a lot of cooldowns. We don't we have trinket in 30, we have life cocoon, we have restoral in five. So that's what we're, we're waiting for. We're holding out for a restoral. Hopefully we live for three, two, one. Good. All right, we have restoral back. So if we get stunned, we can oh, oh we just inst big, big thing here. That I always do in shuffle is hold whenever you have restoral, hold it until you're stunned. 
because you're gonna get stunned eventually. Like I would not be. You have thunder. You have renewing mist right here. We have an instant vivify, right? Instant vivify, which should be good enough. And the hunter is hunter has no kick, so they have no kicks for you, none. So this is this. You could just free heal right now. But yeah, that restore all. I don't know if that was a that was ideal because you. I normally try to wait until I'm stunned. Uh, to press it. Nice disarm on the quizzers there. It's DR'd from the rogue, but that's okay. And then make sure you get your, your renewing mist out. Good, good. Keep those renewing mists coming. Always want to have that two set rolling as much as you can. Try to get a taunt on this pet here. Trap on you, I think, is okay. Um, we do have cocoon, and that's ooh, ooh, big overlap from us. I, I hate when DPS holding the cooldown so long. Actually, I think it just came off cooldown. Never mind. He wasn't holding it, he pressed off cooldown. Um, the rogue, I this is I just wish the rogue pressed it sooner. Actually, he kind of did. He there was a few we do we overlap tree and cocoon though, which is very unfortunate. Stun on you. They're probably they're obviously going to swap your death knight. We have AMS and IBF, and he doesn't want to press the IBF. Uh, it it got a little dicey here. Well, the first thing, very first thing I would mention is for this round, um, are we playing Peace Weaver by chance or not? I I I can't tell. I didn't see the buff go out when we revivaled. No, um, I don't know if we are or not, right? Because like, so you know how I mentioned right here about using that. Rev oh no, no, we are, right? The buff just went out. Yeah, okay, we are playing revival. So this is really important. When you don't have trinket, and you have restoral, I would, I would do anything in your power to hold that restoral until you're stunned, because if you use it outside of the stun. You're not getting the benefit of being able to use it while stunned. The hunter has no kick here. The priest is uh, too far. We even have life cocoon, so maybe life cocoon's even worth using. But I would always, always hold that revival, that restoral for stun, because then this happens right here. You get stunned. Don't we get? Oh no, we're trapped. I thought we got stunned, but still, if this pally hodges you out of this, you have that restoral while stunned. Um, we just overlap a pretty major cooldown here, which is trinket and life cocoon. And then, our DK, our DK decided to not press IBF or AMZ, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no AMZ, no IBF. I don't know why. No idea why. That's It's very bizarre. Um, he just didn't press one. So it was, just, it was a combination of this one. Combination of overlapping Tree and Cocoon with Cloak. And then, Cloak is like Bubble. So don't if, if, if Rogue Bubbles, they're fine. Or um, Cloaks, they're fine. And then, your DK just not wanting to press a button and i don't know why <laughs> i i actually don't know why they they don't okay so we have suburb rep pally here disarm is really good peace fever is really good with restoro and then yeah eminence i think you're just running that every single round i think kill target could actually be the rep pally it could also be the rogue as well but i think rogues are way tankier than than people think so i would probably just kill the rep pally cleave the rogue stun on you careful so yeah versus rogues specifically always try to roll or get away from your port because in the opener they might try to go you so you can port damage or they'll try to CC you so you can avoid uh, CC on you. Um, but we get opened on here. Let's see if we have to do that sepsis from the rogue. Let's see if we got to press any buttons. We do have, we do use restoral there. Um, Yulon as well. Thunder focus. I would, I, yeah, this is fine. This is this is actually completely fine. We also have our expel harm if we need to press that as well. Get our hots out. Fantastic. Wreck, wreck donate some precog to you, which is fantastic as well. Uh, we do miss our trap. So that's a little unfortunate. A hunter, this is the trap. Um, but I think overall we're doing good. Um, this is a comp. I don't know. You're playing with the hunter, but your hunter just missed trap. So let's give it a second. Let's, let's give him redemption. Um, let's see if the next trap will get landed. If he lands the next trap, I think we just train this blind instantly. But I think I like that we're greeting it. I do love it. I oh, we sapped off though. <coughs> train cocoon. We're lucky that we didn't get sapped on our trinket. But that's good. Trinket from your hunter. Oh, we actually life cocoon the DK. Okay, yeah. DK decides to IBF finally, but now we trinket with or we trinket life cocoon overlap with that, which is really unfortunate. I don't know how DK took so much damage there, but maybe that's for Baron's on the rep alley, a swap from the priest. So not there's no cooldowns in this game for any team right now. This is anyone's game. I would say hopefully your hunter can get to a pillar and just kind of just use pets to like kill something this is gonna be bubble from the rep pallet yep for barons is down bubble from the ret uh we're looking for a turtle from the hunter here hopefully before he gets stunned good yulon here good big healing good cheap shot use dr that's fine good 
This is this is completely fine. It's not even a problem right here. Good, nice sweep on the rogue there. It's actually it's DR, isn't it? Yeah, this is a super. This is a super DR. Uh, leg sweep here. Ideally, you try to get that on the D on the DPS when they're off DR. A really good setup for misweavers is to sweep the DPS and incap the healer. Really, really good. So if this team is stacked up, which they normally are, um, also you're playing with a death knight. So whenever they grip blind, that's also a good good time to go for a leg sweep as well because that's kind of like DK's you know go uh, trap on the priest. All right, that's what I'm talking right there. We're looking for a kill on the red pally. Um, any CC off? I don't think we do. I think we're just focusing damage on the rep alley, to be honest. Good zap here. Bop on the rep alley. We, uh, the DK has magic damage, so there's a chance. Um, big healing here from us. Good. That was revival there, too. Careful using that when not in stuns, though, because you want to take advantage of it. Nice Hodge is super DR'd on your hunter. Rop there. Dome as well. Could have robbed the dome. Could have robbed the dome right here. I probably would have robbed it as well. This is, I don't know when we get it. Oh, we don't get it back for five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I would rob this dome instantly. Yeah, th this is definitely try to use rop to like take advantage of stuff like that. Just rob this dome, get rid of the damage reduction that the disc priest has, um, and then go back to healing your hunter. Hodge is super dear on your on your hunter as well, so they don't have many stuns to set up CC on you. Um, so this, this could be good. Uh, gouge on you. Really like how far you're playing away from the priest this round too. Really good. You notice how the game went a lot easier as well when the pri I don't think this priest got one fear on you this round because it's it, it's just so much easier. It's like oh, it, it, there's something about fear that just it's just so it's just an AOE fear and they they can it's just so nice to and then they can just kill the, they just stun the kill target and kill him. So priest got like no fears on you this game and this round went way smoother. Good job positioning. Really really good work. Uh, try to use that ROP for Dome, though, um, rather than keeping the Rogue off you. I know that we we're probably scared that the Rogue is going to go us, but I wouldn't be scared. I, I think I think that's fine. Um, Peace Weaver just, yeah, it, it's the same talents, I think, all six rounds, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think we want to kill the Death Knight. I think the Death Knight, I, I, it sounds mean to say it, but I think the Death Knight potentially is a weak link in this lobby. Um so I think run, it's also Death Knights are also weak to melee damage, which your hunter is. So you should be able to run down this Death Knight, um, maybe kill the rogue, but I I think just run down the DK. I don't like this. Is what I really really don't like actually is that we let this other team push in on us at the start here. So now this priest is able to run in, probably get fears on people and get his damage out. And then we're also stacked versus the Death Knight that has like two ways to kick us: rogue step step kick and a lot of CC for us. I wish our team like pushed into their team and not the other way around. Blind on you. Um, rogue trinkets already. Sepsis on the rep alley. Um, that was bop as well. So that's a lot. And revival from us. So we used all, uh, quite a bit of cooldowns there. But I think that's okay. That's AMS from the DK. Cloak from the rogue. And stunned on you. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, this is normally when you'd want to press revival during stun. But um, that's okay. Incap on the priest. Again, you're playing with the hunter. We get kicked. Uh, you're playing with the hunter, so try not to incap the healer. Silence on you. Priest is priest is charging in to try to get this triple DR fear. <laughs> oh my lord! Kick on you as well. Oh my. All right, yeah, good. That's every DR by the way. You are DR on everything. Spam heal right now. DK is a little bit too far to kick you. We also have eleven stacks of mana already, so let's get those stacks of mana. Beautiful, beautiful, great work. Um, and yeah, I think it's DK. Uh, IBF from the DK, disarm the rogue is fantastic. Um, trap on the priest, careful of your hunter. Yep, good. See, uh, that was Ross from your hunter tree and cocoon from us. I don't actually mind that. They're going to swap your rep alley here, but I actually don't mind that at all because I think that was going to be like a shadowy duel situation from the rogue or smoke bomb or something. Um, but I do, I do like, uh, I do like how we're playing this. The priest is too far away to do anything to you right now. Try to get your two set going. We have two charges of renewing. We actually have three charges of renewing this right now. So always try to get that tier set going. You do not, you, you essentially want to treat your two set like it's a hot and just always keep refreshing it over and over again. Don't let that fall. Silence on you. Uh, hopefully your hunter presses. When did your hunter, nice restore here? When did your hunter turtle? Wait, when I don't even know when the hunter turtle. I didn't even. Can we just take a. Let's go. Let's go. Instant replay. Let's let's rewind this. When in the hunter turtle? Stun on you. Blind. Okay. K 
pick on you. Oh, we get kicked in the turtles. I didn't even see the turtle there. Yeah. So this right here, I think we get, do we get step kicked here? Yeah, yeah we get step kicked. Yeah, this is, this is one of the reasons, the good sweep here, by the way, on the rogue. Um, This is one of the reasons why you just want to stay. It, I hate that they were able to run on top of you. It, the game is on, in my opinion, the game is nearly lost straight off the bat when you're playing on a on a map like Blades Edge Arena or this map where teams are able to push you into this corner where you can't you can't do anything. Like you 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 could barely move this game without getting CC'd, stunned, kicked, anything like that. Slowed. It's so annoying. Um which is really unfortunate because I think we could have this was a I think this was a round we could have won. Um Rep Alley has a lot of utility for you. Um would like to see a Bob actually. Oh, I think the Red Pally bobbed himself earlier. Yeah, this is just a super unfortunate round where rogues are hard to kill. Yeah, also be careful when pushing in like this. Um, be be super careful. Trinket, nice you trinket coon. And they kill through it, Red Pally. Yeah, we're just far away. We get grip blinded, silenced. Yeah, super unfortunate. Super uh, rogues have so much mobility. It's crazy. Nice restore your blind as well. Um, gouge. Yeah. So like that gouge like that is there's a, that, that's melee range. So I, this just comes down to not being able to get away from the enemy team and not, not playing far enough away uh, from them. Super unfortunate. This could have been around for us. Um, but sadly it wasn't we, we, the, your, your pally does have blinding light and he could have used it, but it's just like, we let the team run on top of us and it's just really, really, uh, unfortunate. Um, I would tell my team to push into, like, run, charge into this team. What I would do is I would put my port on this right pillar here and tell my team to get get in there. Get, like, please don't let them push in on top of us. It's so annoying because, they, uh, you know, when you're playing with a misweaver and we're doing, we're doing it again. Oh, I hate when, I hate, look at it, we're just sitting back. We're double melee. Let's get in there. Blind on you. And then look, the priest is able to push in. They get a fear on the ret and yourself and the trap on you. It's it's we're just letting them run at us, uh, which is really really uh, unfortunate. Sap as well, super super dear sap. We're looking for a restore. No, Bob Pally bops himself. All right, we don't mind that. That's a button. Um, we do we do restore there as well. Good Yulon. Um, now when this does happen, what I try to do is I try to create my own distance between the enemy team and myself. So what I'll do is I'll pretend that this is their pillar and not ours. And what I would do in this situation is I would roll to the middle of the map, right? Like right over here, maybe cl maybe more closer to this right pillar over here and make it so it seems like the other team, like my team is LOSing me. That way they're forced to get back in my line and then maybe move pillars. But actually, Hunter just dies. So what I would do, so you see how your team like just decided to just not move from this pillar. Um, what I would do is they already did all the CC, so it's going to be our turn to reposition. I would reposition somewhere over here. That way, the team, hopefully, my teammates see me. They come out from behind the pillar, and then it's just it just it's easier to get away from them because when you're stacked on teams like that, especially rogues, death knights. Red pallies, hunters, anything with like just CC. Same thing goes for like boomies and and like mages and and warlocks that can spam CC you. It's just not going to go well for you. And then disc priest is just the the cherry on top. That just the CC is is just super annoying. Um, the fear is annoying, and you don't want them to push on top of you. All right, Hodge healer. All right, Hodge healer. All right, Red Pally's got one job. Hodge the healer. Um, we're probably going to kill the BM Hunter. I guess the DK wasn't the weak link. Maybe the DK is like the 6-0. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's the BM Hunter. Okay, Red's already in. Or Rogue's already in. So let's let's be careful now. Okay, sap on the Priest. We're opening up on the DK here. IBF from the DK. Um, this is big damage from our Red Pally. Swap into the, the Hunter. I do like this. Stun on you. Careful. Good. Okay. Well, all right. Well, that 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 is what. It, not much to say about that last round, huh? But yeah, overall, I think you did a really, really, really good job. This first round, it, very unfortunate ending. Just a really unfortunate. It's just hard to hill hunters, and then don't when you're playing with a with a hunter specifically, especially a hunter, and then also with a rogue, uh, don't CC anything. You actually don't 
take in cap and legs people off your bar because the hunter is going to be ccing the priest with in cap drs and the rogue is going to be stunning everything with stun drs so it's just not worth that's the biggest thing from this guy i think your healing was fine um the hunter just kind of kited towards you a little bit and we just the hunter just died just flopped so just keep that in mind especially when you're playing those two classes this second round was mostly coming down to positioning this one was, you need to stay farther away from priests. So get off this pillar and more, play more towards here. Um, that way, you know, they don't have spammable slows. You know, this is a hunter that's trying to cut away from your melee. And they have one stun, a hodge. But you want to make it so the rep pally really works to get that hodge on you. And we weren't doing that. So reposition, get further away from the priest. And then, yeah, we had the big overlap um, with Trinket Cocoon with Cloak. Um, and then try to save your restore for stuns uh, as much as you can. Please try to save restore for stuns, especially right where it was it was right here. I think. Yeah, it was like right here when the hunter had the hunter had no kick. I need. I mean, I know we were low, but like get your two set out. We even had life cocoon too. So just keep that in mind. Uh, always try to always try to greed your restore for for stuns. Um, this one was a good round. This one, believe it or not, that was the only fear that this priest got. And I'm I'm sure the game the, this round felt way different, right? It's because the priest is able to wasn't able to get free fears on you and then another one of your DPSs. That way it just turns into a 3v1 on one DPS. So really good job positioning here, staying away. Try to save that ROP for uh for dome as well. Um I think there's more value in ROPing dome than saving it to like peel for yourself. Yeah, like ROP this dome immediately. Um, because I don't think the drop did much of anything for um for the rogue because they just have shadow step. Uh, this one again, it's just a positioning wise. It it's not you positioning; it's your DPS positioning where like they just didn't want to get away from you. But I would say what you can do is it, it's hard on this side of the map. But I guess yeah, stand right here. What you want to do whenever you're in situations where your DPS are positioned on top of you or they're like too scared to push in or something it's kind of on you to do the repositioning i would have repositioned here and just stayed very far away from this team that's that's especially versus a dk in a row with the amount of stuns slows interrupts like for your healing i would have just stayed far away so if this ever happens again just try to keep in mind try to reposition somewhere where maybe put your port on this side of the pillar reposition here if they try to grip you or cc you you can port los that's what i would have done but it's super unfortunate that um, you lost this round. Because I think this was a winnable round. I think this could have made the, the game 4-2, uh, which is too bad. Um, and then this round was a good round. Yeah, this round this round was a good round. I think fantastic work here. I think we just absolutely just destroyed the Hunter. And I think we destroyed the Hunter last round. So that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone who might be struggling and running into the same issues with positioning or anything like that. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.